down they come, nose to tail, with Journey getting into the back of Moffat then, the BMW times the line, Stephen for Team Parker Racing tries to level with the Infinity, here comes Oliver round the outside, three wide as they come over the line, Ash Sutton is in fifth place but it's Tom Oliphant that gets a double turn, he takes over the race lead, great! I'm absolutely over the moon to be able to announce that I'm in Australia and I'll be racing in the TCR Australia series. Um, it's been a dream of mine to race in Australia for so many years and I'll finally get to live that out in 2023. I'm very proud to be joining Ash Seawood Motorsports. Um, the team do a fantastic job. I was incredibly impressed when I went to meet them in Melbourne. Um, the car, the Alfa Romeo, is a proven race winner and one that I'm very excited to get behind the wheel. And I'm so proud to be uh, representing Autoglim in Australia, such a big brand with such heritage. I'm really, really proud and I can't wait to get started. So British Touring Cars is obviously the pinnacle of British motorsport. It has such a long and proud history of racing. The likes of John Cleland and Colin Turkington have won many races. And my proudest wins on the track have been my two wins in Touring Cars. Can Tom Oliver do it? A first win, Beckham suddenly a bit crossed up. He throws everything into the last corner, but Tom Oliver comes out ahead. He's got just enough in hand. A first British Touring Car Championship win for Tom Oliver to Brands Hatch. Both came with BMW and both came at Brands Hatch. TCR Australia this year is, is doing something never done before. We'll finally get to race on the World Series and I cannot wait for the last two rounds of this season. Uh, we'll finally get to race against all the works drivers and it's going to be an incredibly proud moment for me and one where I can pit my talents up against the world's very best.